Hello everyone, I am Lingam from Singapore University of Technology and Design, and today I will be presenting about our paper titled LLMs are Good Sign Language Translators. In our paper, we aim to tackle sign language translation, or SLT for short. SLT is a challenging task that requires cross-modality understanding of visual and linguistic cues, and this challenge is further exacerbated by the limited availability of pet sign text data. On the other hand, large language models, LLMs, refer to language models that have been trained on a large web-scale text corpus and have recently received a lot of attention. Besides possessing rich semantic understanding and powerful linguistic abilities, LLMs have also demonstrated an impressive capability to translate across multiple languages. And when faced with a new language with limited data, LLMs can draw upon a wealth of knowledge acquired from previously learned languages to effectively generate translations. Inspired by the impressive translation capabilities of LLMs, we aim to harness LLMs to handle the challenging sign language translation task. However, training LLMs directly on a relatively small SLT dataset can potentially lead to forgetting of their rich knowledge and a decline in performance. Thus, we keep the off-the-shelf LLM frozen, which preserves its rich knowledge. Consequently, our focus shifts towards making the signed videos compatible and readable for the off-the-shelf and frozen LLM to perform sign language translation. However, this is not straightforward because directly encoding features from signed videos with a pre-trained feature extractor will result in a large gap between the signed video features and the text tokens, which makes it difficult for the off-the-shelf LLMs to understand them. So, so to do this, we draw inspiration from linguistic studies and analysis on LLMs and regularize the signed video to embody two fundamental language-like characteristics. Firstly, discrete characteristics. Spoken languages are inherently discrete, and each, no, uh, each language consists of a finite set of words and subwords that convey distinct concepts, allowing them to be naturally represented through a discrete vocabulary with distinct tokens. Secondly, a hierarchical structure. Most spoken languages exhibit three hierarchical semantic levels, the sentence, word, and character levels. This hierarchical structure enables languages to express a wide range of words with a limited set of characters and convey diverse sentences with a limited number of words. So we present our sign LLM framework, which includes two key designs to impart discrete characteristics and a hierarchical structure to the produce sign tokens. One is the vector quantized visual sign module, the PQ sign on the left, and secondly, the codebook reconstruction and alignment module, CRA module on the right. The VQ sign module imparts discrete characteristics, producing discretized sign tokens, which we call character level tokens. Then, the CRA module takes these character level tokens and imparts onto them a hierarchical structure, combining the character level tokens to produce word level tokens. These word level tokens are combined into a sign sentence that is passed into the off the shelf LLM together with a text instruction to translate it into the desired language. Next, we go into more detail regarding each module. Firstly, we introduce the VQ sign module that facilitates the conversion of sign videos into a sequence of discrete character level sign tokens. To achieve this, the VQ sign module consists of a discrete character level sign codebook. The input video clip is encoded into features, which are then used to retrieve the appropriate character level uh, tokens from the codebook. To optimize this codebook, we employ a self-supervised context prediction task, which aims to recognize the future content in latent space based on the current information. Importantly, this allows us to learn discrete representations while eliminating the need for reconstructing the high-dimensional input video data. Next, we introduce a CRM module that converts the character level sign tokens into word level sign tokens. In particular, it is challenging to find an optimal codebook containing words that are meaningful combinations of characters, and so we adopt an optimal transport formulation to find an optimal sign codebook with minimal entropy and a small size. Furthermore, uh, MMD loss is also applied between the sign tokens and the LM text token space. Please refer to the paper for more information. These designs enable sign LM to produce sign sentences that embody the two key characteristics of spoken languages, discrete characteristics and a hierarchical structure, and which enhances their compatibility with LLMs. In our experiments, we find that our sign LM framework produces good accuracy on the popular sign language translation benchmarks. We also visualize our output translations and find that they are of good quality as compared to existing baselines. This brings me to the end of the presentation. We thank you very much for the kind attention.